Hello, my name is River Jennings, and today I'll be presenting my Integrated Math 2 and Chemistry presentation. I'll start off with math. So here's my homework chart. As you can see, I did most of my, well, I tried to do all of my homework, but for some reason I missed one of them. Maybe I wasn't there that day, or I just didn't get it or forgot about it. But for the rest of my homeworks, I got 100%, and I understood all of it. It was pretty easy. For the um, assessment chart for my um, quizzes and corrections and tests, I feel like I did pretty good. I got mostly uh, fours, some 3.5s, and one 4.5. I did all my corrections. And how did I complete my corrections? For my corrections, me and Sebastian and Sam had a study group. So we'd study before tests sometimes, and uh, we'd all help each other out with corrections and problems that we needed help with. Keeping an A in this class, um, I would just pay attention when the teacher's talking, just listen, and just write down, do take all the notes, uh, do all the homework projects and classwork, and keep up with everything. And I would study with the study group for upcoming exams and quizzes. So here I have some evidence that I got, I think this was from my quiz, I got a question wrong and then I corrected it, and it was a really um, bad mistake because, or not bad, but it was just a misunderstanding with the numbers. Like right here, x equals 123, and then I had to solve for four, and I think I put what I thought x was for four for some reason. I'm not sure what I did. I was probably just rushing through it and wasn't paying much attention to what I was doing. Um, the grade I believe I deserve in this class is uh, an A, which is the grade I have right now, because I feel like I've tried hard in this class and I've done all my work, and I think I've earned it. Alright, now for chemistry. So, this is from Unit 1, Gases, and this is 1A, Random Molecular Motion. So, if someone opened a bottle of vinegar on one side of the room, uh, all the molecules would spread out randomly and bounce off the walls and other air molecules, and then after a while, the uh, vinegar molecules would spread out evenly throughout the room. For 1B, one, one the gas laws in relation to volume, temperature, and pressure. Uh, so this is P1, V1 over T1. So container of one gas with a volume of 40 ml, so that's B1, and a pressure 400 mmHg, that's P1, it's, and then it's decreased to 200 ml at a constant temperature. So we don't need temperature because that stays the same, and then this is the volume 2. So we're only working with pressure and volume. So, so this is it. Plug it in. It's 400 and then Hg times 400 ml equals P2 times 200 ml. Right now, space. Alright, so then to solve this, we want to get P2 by itself. So we got to divide by 200 ml. So then we rewrite this. I'm just going to put it under here. 200 ml. And then we divide, we multiply across the top and we multiply across the, across the bottom if there was another number. Mm -hmm. But for this, we're just going to multiply across the top and then you divide by the bottom. So 400 times 400. 160,000 and then divided by 200 ml is, is 800, I'm pretty sure. So P2 equals 800. And that's how you'd solve this problem. Okay, so
So for 1C, this is explaining standard temperature and pressure. So which volume would be occupied by a gas containing one, one mole at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure? So standard temperature would be 273 degrees Kelvin, and standard pressure would be 1 atm. So if you have those, uh, one mole would be 24.4 liters at the standard temperature and the standard pressure. Explaining the Celsius and Kelvin scales, converting Kelvin, uh, you just add 273. So if I wanted to convert 27 Celsius to Kelvin, I'd add 273, and that'd come out to 300. And if I wanted to convert it back to Kelvin, it's just backwards, so I'd subtract 273, and that'd be 222, okay, 222. For 1E, solving problems using PV equals NRT. So we have a pressure. Oh, what is the pressure? So we're trying to find pressure. Uh, mole, that's N, because N is the amount of moles. P is pressure, V is volume, R is the constant, and T is temperature. So we have 3 moles, N equals 3 gas at 16 C. So when you're doing these problems, you can't have Celsius. You have to always convert it back to Kelvin. So I'm going to convert 16 Celsius to Kelvin. So that's going to be 289. So Kelvin or temperature 289 Kelvin. Oh, 286. All right. Occupies volume, so that's volume. V equals 3.25 L, and that's R, the constant. They just give you that because you have to match the same pressure, but since our pro we don't have our pressure yet, we just, ATM is the easiest because one mole is just one ATM, and one is an easier number to use than most of the others. So then we just plug everything in. So P is what we're trying to find. So P times 3.25 equals N, which is 3, R, which is 0 0.08. One and then times T, which is 286 K. So now we need to get P by itself, like the other one. This is pretty much just a bigger version of that problem. So we need to get P by itself. To do that, we need to divide by 0.325 liters. So we're just going to put that under here. So we have that. Now we just need to multiply across the top and then divide it by the bottom. Oops. Can I use a calculator for this? Mm, that's no, that's fine, because I can tell you understand. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you would multiply across the top and then divide it by the bottom and then you get your pressure. Thank you for listening. Any questions? Uh, we were in the